Can we welcome my friend and your friend and one day you're going to really great talent, the fabulous Mr. Bobby Davro. Yes. Thank you very much. Good evening. Will you give a round of applause, please, Mr. Lee Tracy, your compare this evening? Thank you, Lee. Bend over backwards to me. Yes. Any man to go on new faces and not get run. Right. Starting off with the city one. Irish fella walks in the pub. He said, I like a pint of Guinness. The first said, whip bread. He said, oh, I'll do that one again. He walks in the shop. <laughs> shouldn't get. He walks. Walked into Debenhams, he said, I'd like to buy a bath. The fellow said, do you want one with a plug? He said, I didn't know they were electric. <laughs> Walked in the shoe department, he said, give us a pair of shoes. The fellow said, try these on, sir. He put them on, he said, they're too tight. He said, try them with the tongue out. He went, they're so, so tight, they're so, so tight. <laughs> I like all them department store. I like, I, I watch Mr. Humphreys. Do, like, do you like him on the telly? Mr. Humphreys, I'm free. <laughs> oh, what a week it's been. Do you have Michael Foot coming today? He walked in. He said, could you... Bend over, drive me home. He said, could you show me the cheapest suit you have in the shop? I said, wait there, I'll get a mirror. <laughs> Not the dark ones, don't you? City gangs, aren't they? Like the Irish fellow walks in the doctor's great big frog hanging out of his ear. The doctor said, blimey, mate, what's wrong with you? And the frog said, it started off as a ball on my arse on Wednesday. We do some impressions. It's time to play the music. It's time to light the lights. Ooh, it's time to make the Muppets on the Muppet Show tonight. Miss Piggy! It's time to put on the makeup. It's time to dress up right. It's time to make the Muppets on the Muppet Show tonight. Come it. Straight to you, to be fine. But why do you? So it really makes me happy when I introduce you. Now my name's Jim Davidson, I want to help police gangs. Oh, we'll do one. Oh, I will, yeah. I'll do... It's a little biscuit. How are we doing? Benny Hill! I'll do the voice of that one. <laughs> <laughs> you thought I wasn't going to do this one, didn't you? <laughs> All right. Well, that one of Charlie's Angels. <laughs> Bosley. How you doing? I've not been well. Aww. I've had a bit of trouble. Aww. It's like a vista wagon. <laughs> I walked in the doctor and said, Doctor, I've got a bit of soap stuck up my bum. He said, that's life, boy. <laughs> I said, as long as it's not fairy, I don't mind. He said, what's the trouble? I said, I've got a... I don't... He gave it a flash. He said, what's the trouble? He gave it a flash. Not one of them that develops in your hand, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> I said, I've got a... I said, I've got the windy pops. He said, take a seat. I said, thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> I named that tune in three. <laughs> he said, no, tell me about it. I said, I've got... Uh -huh. said, I didn't do that one. Did you slip one in there, love? Did you? <laughs> women, they don't do it, do they? Mm, they do, they deny. <laughs> They're crafty, the women. They cover it up, the women. Have you, have you heard always go... <coughs> <coughs> Or well, they do it, then walk away and leave the poor fellas to take the blame, aren't they? <laughs> he said, what's the matter? I said, I've got the windy pops. He says, do you go regularly? I said, every morning at seven. He says, what's wrong with that? I said, I don't get up till nine. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed, number two, the Swedish chef. Here we go. Let's put her up the kitchen.
<laughs> Hello, good evening and welcome. Yes, and in a packed show tonight, we'll be talking to the Irishman who thought Hertz Van Heyer was a German painter. <laughs> We'll be, we'll be talking to the flasher that was going to give it all up, but has now decided to stick it out for another year. <laughs> and hopefully we'll be talking to the man who spent his entire life savings on a sex change operation and claims it's left him without a sausage. <laughs> These are the dogs, folks. But first, the upstanding for His Royal Highness, Prince Charles. off again is the horse. Um, <laughs> what do you expect at 12.30? <laughs> it's more like Lord Charles is really the horse. <laughs> when I was, when I was asked to the, the dumb time. I, 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 I was really kind of excited and baited. As you know, I've had the most amazing year, what with Lady Di announcing the happy news, and it all, fight, all my fault really, I'd never taken her to Wales to bang her, never again. And I, you know, I, I remember on the wedding night, she was a very nervous lady, very nervous. I couldn't really blame her because the last two rides I've had, the first one died under me and I fell off the second. And, <laughs> I remember going and asking Daddy a few tips on the wedding, sort of, sort of, uh, how does one give one one and all that. And uh, I said to myself, <laughs> should have heard her, oh my God, I'm arriving. <laughs> I said, I said, <laughs> she's a lady. So. I remember going and asking Daddy, I said, Daddy, when you were dating Mummy, did you ever use the royal coach? He said, no, we taught ourselves. <laughs> but of course, but of course, things didn't work out, and every time uh, she went to the doctor's lab, she said, Doctor, you've got to help me. Is every time Charles, every time he gives me one, I, I get indigestion. And the doctor said, Have you tried Andrew's? She said, Yes, but his is exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> Hang about, my dears. We'll be here in a minute. I'll just get me singing that on. There we go, then. <laughs> Can't sing without me singing that on. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> It's gone off again. How are you doing? All right, it's, it's a crow man. How are you doing? Who have you got there? Aunt Sally. Hello, Aunt Sally. <laughs> She's a saucy one, that Aunt Sally, isn't she? Oops, today they've got such a turnip like in the underpants. <laughs> Tell you what, Aunt Sally's the girl that's got everything. <laughs> I think I got it now, though. That's the only thing, anyway. <laughs> that's, that's saucy. That saucy Nancy's the one, isn't she? We were walking through the cow field the other day. We were walking. Th and one of them, one of them pesky crows, it cracked on me head. She did it, cracked on, on right near that. She said to me, she said, you better get a piece of paper. I said, don't be daft, it'll be miles away from now. <laughs> we do the words or something. You put the words, F the W and the words, F the O, put the words, F the R, and it's a wee, we go. The words, F the Z, we put the words, F the E, a word, F the L, a L, that's the word, and you left with me. <laughs> Who was it? Who was it? Barry Manilow. You've got it. Well, no, see. <laughs> well, I like all the kids' programmes, me. Blue Peter. Do you remember Blue Peter with John Noakes? Hello, welcome to Blue Peter. And tonight, Val's going to show you how to make a vibrator out of an old squeezy bottle. <laughs> 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 Not the same anymore now, you got bloody B Bill and Ben. Do you remember Bill and Ben? Do you remember? Oh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, flip, flap, flip, flap. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Do you remember Little Weed? Do you remember Little Weed? Do you remember how she went? Weed. I hope you haven't loved. Someone's got to sit there after you. All right. <laughs> All the adverts on the box. I like the adverts. I like that one with the little dog ones down the garden with the toilet paper wrapped around it. Have you seen that one? Never see the poor fellow with the trousers around his knees and the dirty ass. Come here. <laughs> 
<laughs> you can laugh. You imagine you sitting on the loo, minding your own business, and all of a sudden, from between your legs, that voice comes up. Oh, Verone Bet Blue, I feel like you, Lou. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Under some people on the box now, got David Bellamy. You see, oh, what are we waiting for? Oh, a lot of people waiting for me. All the weed are going with me. Oh, wow, 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 Yes, we do. Right, we're going to do an um, impression now. Do you watch the quiz games on the box? Do you ever see the quiz games? Like the Crapton Factor. What we're going to do? Can I borrow your glasses for this? <laughs> see through a wig. Very nice. We're going to have a. <laughs> Good evening. My name is Michael Kane. Do you know? And not a lot of people. These are bloody thick. These glasses, aren't they? See you what? Need good eyesight to see out of these, mate. Don't you? Yeah. Got all flies stuck to the front. You come on your motorbike tonight, do you? What we're going to do is give you my interpretation of that well-known television programme, University Challenge. Now, could you imagine what would happen if we had the Irish team go on University Challenge? Probably go something like this. Thank you. Yes, welcome once again to University Challenge. Ask you the questions, Bamba Gascoigne. Bloody <laughs> <laughs> hell. Yes, hello, and welcome once again to University Challenge. Okay, let's meet the two teams tonight. Let's meet the two teams tonight, starting with Queen's College Oxford. Hello, Queen's. Hello. <laughs> and King's College Dublin. Bzz, hello there, hello. Are Paddy Murphy here, reading gas meters? <laughs> okay, that is the answer. Let's go. It's a question. Twenty five one seat. Chisel start of a ten. <laughs> no conferring. In Greek mythology, come and tell me who is half man, half beast. Bzz, King's College Murphy. Half man, half beast. Buffalo Bill. <laughs> no one Buffalo Bill Queens, can you take it? So <laughs> true, it's long. <laughs> so I'll start at the ten. I'll start it, so I'll finish. Can anybody Can anybody name the five animals from Africa? This is King's College, my favorite. Five animals from Africa. Four monkeys and an elephant. <laughs> Can you spell paint? Bzz, what colour? <laughs> What's the difference between an electricity board and an emu? Bzz, just between an electricity board and an emu, there's no difference at all. They can both stick the bills up their arse. Yes? <laughs> <laughs> What's an Hebrew? It's a male tea bag. <laughs> and still on religion, what happened to Moses when he went to Mount Olive? Popeye kicked him in the knackers. Yes. <laughs> okay, 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 Olives. Things really getting exciting now as he comes to ask one of questions. Hands on top of the tables, queens. <laughs> Hands on top of the tables, no interfering. What's the last thing to go for a fly's mind as it hits the window screen of a car? Bzz, it's snackers, yes. <laughs> What's the difference between Joan Collins and the Eiffel Tower? Bzz, not that many people have been up the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one, that is the first time I've heard that one as well. Can anybody tell me how did Captain Hook die? Bzz, he wiped his ass with the wrong hand. Yes. <laughs> what were the first words Eve said to Adam? Bzz, oh, that's a hard one. Yes. <laughs> and can anybody tell me what's the difference between a mountain goat and a goldfish? Bzz. Just between a mountain goat and a goldfish, one mucks around the fountain. Which means good night for me, Bamba Gascoigne, good night for you. Thank you very much! Thank you! Thank you! Once again, thank you. We'll do some singing questions, come on. Starting with one name now, Mr. Gilbert O'Sullivan. He's a little while from now, if a 
I'm not feeling any less so I promise myself to treat myself There's no need my turn I'm climbing to the top I'll just throw myself off In an effort to make it clear to know Never one is lying when you're shattered And standing in the lot I don't know when people say My God, that stuff she stored him up No point in us remaining In me as well go home As I did on my own Not alone again Naturally Alone again Ladies and gentlemen, and family pet. <laughs> oh, I didn't realise. <laughs> It's all mechanical, you see. I don't know how it works. <laughs> I bet his teeth are going when he goes to sleep, aren't they? Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. This fabulous backing band behind me, the Brian Williamson Orchestra. Thank you. <laughs> they say this business and not his own as good as his audience. I've been fabulous tonight. I've enjoyed myself. Good night, goddess.